I am here with another review mail, even though it's not on Friday. Um, I am I'm filming this at 12.57 a.m. on Sunday morning, so I will put this up on Friday. Um, I have a lot of stuff to go through, so we are going to get right to it. So I, I'm just going to start with this. I got I picked this up yesterday at the mailbox, and I, I just have a lot of stuff stuffed into it, so... I'm just going to go through that first. First thing is um, a Footmate Foot Care Comfortable Anti-Slip, Anti-Shock, um, another foot insole. I got one of these. Let's see here. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah, I got one of these already. And I got to tell you, it has made a big difference. Um, un unless I'm wearing tennis shoes, my feet kind of hurt. I, I have... I had surgery, um, oh, about 15 years ago or so on one of my feet. It was a bunion surgery, but they botched it. So I have a couple bones in the bottom of my foot that don't move right. So I get big calluses there, and it it really hurts, um, you know, when I wear certain shoes. And to wear dress shoes to work, you know, um, even though they're kind of casual dress shoes, they still hurt my feet. So I've, I've used one of these and they feel so good. My feet do not hurt me at the end of the day. These are really soft and cushiony, and I only had to cut them down just a little bit on that one. Um, but anyway, this is the second pair I've got, and I'm very happy with them so far. Okay, the next one is another pair, and it's by the same company, so I don't know if um, these aren't the exact same thing, though, so these are different. Um, I have not tried these yet, but these are like this. These are more like the Dr. Scholl type. Um, very rubbery and kind of cool feeling. Um, that will help. Let's see here. What do these say? A journey is a journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. To enjoy your life, please begin with your care. Care for your foot. The foot insole is always dedicated to providing you comfortable and healthy feet feeling. And these are the best foot relief ones. Anyway, that's what that looks like. Okay. <laughs> I got some more gel pens. <laughs> but look at here. Look at there. I will be taking pictures of this because they a bunch of them leaked out. Look at that. So I'm not real. I haven't even opened these yet, and they've are already leaking and stuff. So um, not real high quality gel pens. These are by uh, Redion. Premium quality gel pen set, 12 glitter, 12 neon, 12 pastel, non-toxic and acid-free, smooth flowing line, 0.8 millimeter tips, and perfect for crafters and artists, coloring books, kids, and adults. 36 gel pens. Um, I don't know. There's some beautiful looking colors in there. This is the, that side. So you can see at the bottom there. And then on this side. Afraid to touch them to anything. I got some clothes this time. But I'm, I'm going to pull everything else out. I'm very happy to get these. Um, because I can't find mine from last year. And I love this. That they come in this kind of a case. This here I got from Review Loop. Those there. Everything there I got from Amazon Review Trader. This here is a Review Loop. All right, come on here. And it is a deal that goes over my glasses. And I've never had this kind because it's this kind that clips here, right here. You just push that and it clips on. There we go. They're kind of hard. I mean, you can't just slip them on because they're kind of hard to put on. But that's what they look like. Um... And this is, ooh, my hair's coming apart. Um, this is the kind of glasses that I really need to wear for um, in the car because um, 
eye prescription sunglasses or prescription glasses. So, and it's really hard to get stuff to fit. But these here actually fit really well. Um, I'm just really worried that this clip is going to break off because they say that they're very sturdy and stuff. But um, I'm really afraid that if I'm not super careful with that every time that that clip is going to break. But I'm really happy about getting this case for these. All right. Next thing I got is a, um, I got an ink cartridge. I got two of them. I've got them in my, in my ink deal, um, that are, I got w one color one and two, two black ones, um, to review. And I got them for a really cheap price because usually if I would get that many, it would probably cost me $45. And I got them like under, under 10 um, this one here was really cheap, but they're refurbished, but they really work well. So as long as I can get ink. Okay, last thing in this bag for now is I got rose water toner, um, hydrating facial toner, 100% organic, 100% pure, 100% organic, 100% natural, no additive, chemical free. And that's what that looks like. I love rose water. So, anyway, I was saying I got some clothes this time. I haven't even opened these yet. But you can tell there's a theme. By the way, I went to put on shorts for the first time today. I got pretty fat during the summer. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway. Oh, I love this. I mean, they're winter size tops, but look at the front. It's it's got kind of the high top, but then it kind of has this thing here. Long sleeves, very nice material. I'm sorry, you can't see this very well, but I don't want to move my backdrop. And it's got the same thing in the back where it kind of um, has got that I don't know what you call that dart maybe it's made by it's lock and love designed in California lock and love it's really all it says made by Johnny group incorporated women's round neck and it's in Heather charcoal and I like blacks and I like grays um, I like different colors but um, I don't know. I'm really into this black and gray lately. Okay, got another one. So I will be trying those on. Maybe I'll do a lookbook outside or something. I, I I have to figure out how to do it. And I live right next to Main Street. I don't want people watching me when I do stuff like that. This is also made by Lock of Love. Oh my God, I love this one. Oh my gosh, and I love V-necks. But this is... See, they had all different colors, all different pretty colors. See, look at it. It goes from black at the bottom all the way up to really light gray. And it's got the long sleeves again. They didn't have in my size any of the short sleeved ones, but I will be looking for those. Any that didn't look sleazy to me. There's some of them on that site that look pretty sleazy. Um, I do have one more here somewhere. Where did I put it? And like I said, I haven't tried any of these on yet to see if they even fit. So I'm praying that they do. This one, of course, is in black. <laughs> this one's got three-fourths um, sleeves. But it's so pretty. But look at that. Um, it's lacy. And it's got the lace all the way down the sleeve on this side. And it's got the three-fourths inch. inch um, and it's got the, the V-neck in the front. And this is the back where it's just got that little hole in the top that'll still be above my bra strap. But isn't that beautiful? I hope you guys can see these. I don't know. But this is really the first time that I've tried to get um, clothes through that. And we will see how they fit. Um, they're all three really seem 
let me look at this one here. The other two were Lock and Love. This one is Ambience, it's called. Hot from Hollywood. So anyway, okay. Um, I got some jewelry. This is from an email that I got um, wanting me to do their jewelry. And it's just this kind of necklace, which I really like these kind of necklaces, actually. I wish I would have got it in a different color, though. Like black. <laughs> but this will go really nice with those tops, the, the white. If I can get it open. This was from an email, private email. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Jeez. I mean, it's just um, one of these that looks kind of felt flimsy. Looks really cheap, to tell you the truth. It's not good quality at all. Um, the earrings I will not wear. So maybe I'll put those in with somebody that, you know, if I ever do a swap again or that. But I hope you can see them. But they they just look really flimsy and really... Um, it's got like the fishing wire type thing. And that's the whole reason that I get this kind. Because I am allergic to so many different metals. That if it's not sterling silver or cloth or whatever that goes around my neck, it really bothers me. And I'm afraid that this is going to bother me. I might have to put fingernail polish on it. But we will see. Um, I'm going to try that this week. Let's see. I got two of these. Let's see here. See, I'm getting approved for this stuff. And um, I'm getting the same stuff. <laughs> This is a book, like a, like for my e-reader. I didn't bring my e-reader in here. Oh, I wanted to show you this, too. I got this uh, probably about a year ago. This is my Note 4. But I got this probably about a year ago. Um, look at my phone case. Can you see that? It's got the little heart up here with the hanging deal. It's really heavy. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I just... Um, I was having some problems with my phone, so I took the, the case off it that I've had on for a year and um, took my battery out for a while, and I thought, I'm going to try a different case. And this one here was handy. I couldn't find the one I wanted. But um, it it's big and clunky. It My other one was rubberized, so it wouldn't slide on stuff, where this one does. Um, I'm afraid that this this rhinestone stuff probably won't last very long. It's cheapo. I got it for free on Amazon Review Trader, and I've had this a long time already, but I thought it was kind of pretty. I thought I'd try that. But anyway, uh, I thought I'd show you with my phone. It doesn't, it's too big. It doesn't fit in there. But you set it like this, and then it's got the deal here that you, you, um. See, I, I love to read while I'm eating. So, I wanted to do this so I could be hands-free. This one here is defective, though. So you put your book in here, you stand it up, and this goes like this, but this one here just slides around so easy that it just, it won't stay put. Um, this one here I tried, I already tried, and I thought I would show you guys, let's see here. This one is, is not exactly the same because it's black, but it, it's, initially the same thing and then you um this one here though locks this is locked so this one works and the other one doesn't <laughs> but um I was very happy to get those because I'm I'm making this one work I can use this I've actually been using the back side of it to stand it up because it, it works okay that way but um, I wanted something so I'm hands free when I'm reading my books or, or my ebook. So anyway, that's that. 
I wanted to show you this. Um, I got this off of a um, a private person on Facebook. She IM'd me. And it's pretty dirty because, so you can tell it's really dirty. Look at that. See, it's all broke up in there. Got some pretty colors in there. I mean, I'd never use that yellow, but, <laughs> or the green. But the other ones I might play with a little bit. But I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to use it. But I've been going back and forth. She is very hard to get to answer my IMs. She says they're going to send me a new code so I can get a new one. She wasn't happy about that it was broken. She says that she's going to send me a new code. I will not be reviewing this until I know that I'm going to get a new code. Until I know that I'm going to get another one that is a complete because um, then if I don't get another one, I will review it. And I will give her a, like a one rating or whatever. Um, because she's just hard to work with. I mean, not hard to work with, but it takes forever for me to get an answer from her for anything that I ask her. Um, first of all, it took forever for her to answer me if I was going to get a new code or or if they were going to send me a new box or whatever. Um, and I've been saying, you know, I've been putting on, you know, about every other day I'll put, will you answer my question? Would you answer my question? Finally today she did say that they were going to send me a new code, but she didn't. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, but not happy with this at all. That is from a private I am in Facebook group. Got some more brushes. Um, these are just cheap old brushes, you know. They're nothing, nothing to talk about, but they'll do in a pinch for sure, and they will do for you know traveling or whatever. But there's quite a few of them in here. I don't remember how many. Leather, um, the leather really stinks, and I will use a lot of these I think because I do like. I've been looking at them, and I do like them. See, there's a lot of them in there. A lot of brushes in here. I'll pull out a couple and show you. There is this big fan one, which is very nice, actually. It's it's thick enough, and I do kind of like this fan brush for my highlighter. And then there's a smaller hand brush or fan brush down at this end. Which is, it, I like I like to use fan brushes for my highlighter, actually. It's got a nice spoolie. You know, I like to use my spoolies. Actually, I'm going to put that in there. Um, it's got, there are three of these in here that just are sponge applicators. Can you see those? They, they're just sponge applicators. There is um, lipstick ones. God, this case stinks. A lot. Of, there's quite like four lip, four lipstick ones, two eyeliner ones. Um, there's an eyebrow. There's another eyebrow. There's um, quite a few that are the same actually. There are many different eye brushes. Many different. There is a, this is a um, foundation brush that I never use that kind. So I may give a lot of these brushes away because I just, I don't use them. Um, they feel kind of, they feel a little coarse actually. There's a couple of these that I will use, but the rest I will probably end up giving away because, you know, it's just a cheapo um brush set. Very good for like beginners or um, for traveling. Um, take on camping trips or something like that. That would be good. I would most definitely do that um, if I was if I was a camper or whatever. I would take this with me on camping trips because they fold up so nice and neat. Okay. Um, just a few more things here. This was also a uh, 
I'll just grab this stuff and put it here so it's okay I got a duvet cover and this is lavender it's very nice very nice I opened it up I didn't take it out of course but um, it feels really good I've got an old comforter that I absolutely love that I've had for many years but um, it's got a stain on it one side is one color the other side is another color and I absolutely love it um, I don't use a lot of comforters anymore because I get so dang warm but I thought I would put um, this over that com excuse me that comforter and see how it works but this is I mean they come in all these different colors I mean I only had the one choice I could only choose lilac or purple which is fine I like this color so that's a good thing anyway this is a duvet cover I've never used one before so that should be very interesting um, these are cat toys that I got from um, I believe this was review loop maybe um, there's one out of there that he has been chasing around he isn't a lot for for cat toys I got this this was a private email and he just asked me to help him out by by doing this and I figured I could put my sunglasses in here this is just a eyeglass case it's got a nice nice um, case for the case but it's um, kind of velvety feeling purple again and you open it up like this and it's got like that I don't know why it's so loose in there but um, but it, it's magnetic which is nice for I, I figured I could put my sunglasses my, my regular sunglasses in here um, for the summer so that'll work anyway that was a private email this is a this is a digital thermometer which I was kind of excited about getting and it's even got a battery in there come here you there's the battery but this is what it looks like um, I don't have not tried it or anything yet it's got a little thing so it'll stand up it um, it feels kind of chintzy to tell you the truth so I'm gonna have to try this out I actually it's a thermometer for the house actually so you know it's not like a timer or anything like that it's a thermometer that tells you the temperature which uh, I kind of wanted something like this in my house so because my temperature just fluctuates so bad in this house so I thought I would try that okay couple just one more or two more things these are more makeup sponges <laughs> this was a private email also and they both look one is yellow and one is purple and they both look like this they're they're very nice and dense um, I'm not gonna open them just yet because I have several I don't want to um, once those get grody looking um, after I wash them you know a few times that I will get these out and use them all right last things are some sandals and I've not even tried these on yet but these were from a Facebook group and I needed some sandals but I'm afraid that I won't be able to wear these a lot like to work I won't be able to wear these um, because they'll hurt my feet I can tell you already because they're too flat I have a very high end step but they're cute aren't they they're very cute I'm gonna try them on right now actually so anyway that is everything that I have for review a ton of stuff but last week my memory card ran out so a few of these things are carried over from them and anything else that I get this week I'll just add on to next week's so I will see you next time if you like this kind of stuff this review mail stuff um, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you've gotten any of these items what you thought of them you know um, your thoughts on my stuff I will talk to you later bye